Welcome to this video in which I will be showing you how to download and install Xero's minimap as you can see right here. Um, what I'm gonna do first is just get a clean version of uh, Minecraft for uh, 1.12. So I'm gonna do that now, just gonna get the uh, files all downloaded and loaded up. Um, yeah, when that's uh, going on we can go and download the mod itself. Um, so. On planetminecraft.com we can find Xeros minimap and by the way I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong but I guess it's kinda like Xeros. Um, yeah so we can go to planetminecraft.com to this web page and go to the download button right here. This will redirect you to a um, to another website, uh, Chocolate Minecraft it's called and here we can go to the mod itself and down below we can download full mod. Oh, that's my Minecraft starting up right there because it's loaded. As you can see it doesn't say mods or anything right now, this is just a clean version uh, of Minecraft 1.12. So right now we can go to the website to download the mod itself and it's right here for Minecraft version 1.12. Let's download the .jar file. If this download link isn't working you can always try the mirror link. Um, yeah right here but normally this will do just fine. Um, yeah, so you will be directed to NetB where you can uh, download the mod itself. You will have to wait a few seconds and it might uh, give you a warning but the, the file is just clean so you can go ahead and download that. Um, what I'm gonna do now is just drag this file to my desktop to be able to access it easily later on. You can place it literally wherever you want but that's not a problem. Um, then we'll need Minecraft Forge for, Mine for yeah, Minecraft version 1.12.2 and what I do recommend is to download the recommended obviously. This might be the same as the latest but in this, in this case it's not. And just go ahead and press the Windows installer button. We might need to be in Internet Explorer or Edge for this, but I'm not quite sure. We'll see. Okay, I can download it just fine. And right now I'm going to drag this file to my desktop too, so we can access it right there. All right, so there we go. We have the both. Yeah, we have both the files downloaded, and we're gonna open up the Forge installer for Windows. This will uh, just say install client, this is all fine, you can unclick Mercurius, I'm not quite sure what that does, but it's not a problem whether you, um, yeah, whether you check it or not. So just go ahead, install client and hit OK. What you do gotta make sure is that Minecraft is uh, downloaded at a default um, spot, so like present sign appdata in the roaming folder. But it will just say successfully install client when all, when that's all good. So we did that right now and now we gotta go ahead and open Minecraft again. As we can see right here there's an arrow which means we have multiple profiles to be uh, that we can choose from. And the new profile is called Forge. So this is created when you install Minecraft Forge to your Minecraft. Alright, so go ahead and click the Forge version and hit play. Now we can just check and make sure the download has worked for Minecraft Forge. This will only take a few seconds. Alright, so when it's started up we can right now see that it says 4 mods loaded, 4 mods active. That's just the basic stuff you get from Minecraft Forge. So that's all good. What we can do now is go to the mods folder. Yeah, and just check. You can see those things right here. That's the default stuff you'll be getting. So right now we can go ahead and close Minecraft one last time. And now go to your search in Windows bar and type in present sign app data present sign and this will redir redirect you to a folder called present sign app data present sign or called roaming which will get us both to the same place which is this one. Right now we are going to click dot minecraft folder and as you can see right here it's a mods folder created by installing minecraft forge. So what you've got to do now is open this mods folder and just drag Xero's minimap in there. 
make sure you have the jaw file in the mods folder in the folder called dot minecraft so what we're gonna do now is open up minecraft again just make sure you have the forge profile selected hit play and everything should be fine but we'll see when we load the creative world I'm not gonna make a super flat world now because it's um, yeah we'll be wanting to see whether we can uh, see this stuff on the minimap or not so I'm just gonna go ahead create new world doesn't really matter how it's called for now just gotta check And I'll switch in full screen right now. Alright, that seems to be working just fine. Alright, so now in the upper left corner we can see that the Xeros minimap is right there. And I think you can choose the place where you want it. So you can place it at a top right corner, I guess. I'm used to that. Um, one thing has changed, I think, is that we can't go into a menu because, uh, as said by the maker of the mod, it was, uh, yeah, conflicting with other mods. So right now you have to click Y and this will lead you to a minimap menu. And right here we can, yeah, right here you can select from, um, multiple different uh yeah options for the minimap itself i think somewhere here it says where the ma where the minimap will show but that doesn't really matter you can check that out yourself and yeah thanks for watching if you have any problems installing this mod just let me know and i will i will try to reply as quick as i can and um yeah that's it for now so uh, have fun playing and uh, trying out see you later